not close your eyes and go to sleep. That is not it. That is not it. Close your eyes and pay attention. That's meditation. And that's pratyahara. When you close your eyes, when you pay attention, what do you see? What? You see the mind. And then what? You see the mind. Then what? What? You have been practicing what? What? Everything that's ever been imprinted, she's given us a stereotype answer. Everything that's ever been imprinted there. But what does that mean to you? Of what? What is it? These are words, these are terms, but what are they to you? When you close your eyes, what? Feeling. Hmm? Everything I've hung on to. Past experiences. Come on, what? More, more, more. Some scars. Yes, you go to a central place, but it is a place of an important quality. Hmm? Just silence. But there has to be an awareness of the silence. In the same way, there has to be an awareness of that place where you go. So meditation is about that awareness. That awareness. That is, huh? Yeah, you're aware. And meditation is about maintaining that awareness no matter what arises. Awareness, 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 awareness. Awareness of this, awareness of this, awareness of this. What will happen is those problems we were to about the, in the question, those problems, they'll start coming up. Because they actually want to come up. And at the same time, they don't want you to resolve them too. So they hide a little. They play a little bit hide and seek. <laughs> but they will come. You will see them. And you will resolve them if you can maintain that dissociated awareness. And that is pratyahara. Pratyahara is a lot of work. It's not for a lazy person. A lazy person should better just go to sleep. And don't say, I'm practicing meditation. Because pratyahara means really sort yourself out. Most people just give up and go to, along to the psychologist, psychiatrist to get sorted. Isn't it? Haven't some of you been along that track? I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do. I can't handle it. So off I take myself to the psychologist, to the psychiatrist, sit down there and say, you handle it for me. Right? Haven't some of us done that? Or not? Have some of us done that? We have. Oh. But pratyahara means sit yourself down and become your own psychologist, become your own psychiatrist. Let the problems come up, let them come. See them, see this one, see this one, see this one, see the whole thing. Let the whole thing unfold in front of you in the same way that you would tell your whole problems of your whole life to the psychologist and psychiatrist. Isn't it true? And the psychologist, the psychiatrist, doesn't have any personal interest except for what you're going to pay him at the end of the session. <laughs> right? So he's able or she's able to just listen, knowing that that's going to come from your pocket at the end. That's okay. They'll listen. 
In the same way, you have to be prepared to sit and watch and listen to what comes up in your mind. That's how you can sort the problems. And if you don't, then you will go on projecting those problems in your outer life and seeing them everywhere you may go. Everywhere you go, you'll take them with you. And guess what? They'll be there waiting when you get there. <laughs> Some people go on changing house, go on changing job, go on changing partner, thinking, I'll get rid of my problems. The problem is my house. The problem is my job. The problem is my partner. The problem is that child. I wish it would grow up. <laughs> but, but, the problem is in my mind. And I'm projecting it into the world around me in my life. And I'm seeing it again and again and again. How strange. <laughs> <laughs> But isn't it true? There's only one way around this. Changing the job won't help. Changing the house won't help. Changing the partner won't help. Changing the dog won't help. But Pratyahara will help if it is practiced correctly. But it won't help if you sit with your eyes closed and go to sleep. <laughs> there has to be awareness. There has to be attention from moment to moment. And it's hard work. It's hard work. It's hard work to be attentive, especially if you're tired. Have you noticed that, some of you who have practiced? Hmm. So, in order to become uh, an advanced practitioner, a person who really does progress, you have to gear your life for it. That's what you have to do. You have to gear your life so that you can practice at the right time without being tired, without being full in the tummy, without having too much, you know, your head swamped with too many uh, previous activities, you know? All these things. Well, time's up. but some good questions. And I hope I have been able to explain a little bit, with a little bit of clarity for you and not confused you more. <laughs> Sometimes when you learn a lot of things quickly, it all kind of melts together and not quite clear. So your yogic studies course is a bit like that. You are introduced to so many things, <laughs> so much knowledge so many ideas so fast. So it's important to keep a clarity in all the different subjects and discussions. <laughs>